So what is up guys, it is Nisho here and today finally got time to talk about the ban list yesterday when the ban list was revealed. Um, I, you know, like I immediately just started looking through all my cards and everything and uh, trying to scramble together new strategies, um, seeing what I can do, seeing what I can't do. And uh, yeah, um, I don't know if uh, I can play dinosaurs anymore, even Zephyrus in that fact simply because of how bad both my decks were hit they, they hit two key cards if they would have kept one or the other either one of my decks still would have been playable the way that i played them but they hit both the essential cards so pretty much um i'm like stuck in this corner right now since i kind of need to figure out a new deck or a new way to play dinosaurs and it's going to take me a while so yeah i never got to doing that true draco um deck profile, dinosaur deck profile that I wanted to do, but, you know, um, that ban list came right into effect. It's it's kind of like Konami just had that ban list, like, in, in store and just, they kind of just, like, forgot about it, and it was like, oh, yeah, we were supposed to re release this ban list, like, last week, and then they're like, oh, well, let's just release it today, then. <laughs> so say goodbye and eat the road, pack it So starting off with the ban cards... Dynamite Knight, Grand Soil, Lila Sagam, Denglong, Emerald, Broadwool, and Dryden. So, Zuic Seeds, gone. Grand Soil Loops, gone. Denglong, gone. Uh, the best True King, gone. And possibly the best um, True Draco, other than Masterpiece himself, is gone simply because he had the ability to activate trap cards during your opponent's turn from the deck in response to any card that they activate. Any card or effect they activate is chain, activate a true king's return or a true king's apocalypse from the deck for free, pretty much. So it was pretty broken and you know, looping him with true king's return um, was also pretty crazy since he got, a, like he searched a card that made him a floater pretty much. So he he made himself a floater this the turn, like the very second that the opponent activates something, so it's understandable. Grand Soil loops is stupid, understandable. Lidosagum, baby dinosaurs, all I gotta say. <laughs> Denglong, Denglong has always been broken and it was stupid that they made it generic. If Denglong wasn't generic, dinosaurs would not have been as strong. Well, they still would have been strong because of Lidosagum. But I don't think it would have needed to get hit if Denglong was not generic. If anything, I think that's what they might do in the future. If Denglong ever comes back, it's going to have a errata that says either a Yangzing tuner or a Yangzing non-tuner. Mark my words. I'm calling it now. Now, Digusto Emerald, it's a little weird just because Digusto Emerald is something that we didn't really expect. Apparently, it was broken enough in Konami's eyes to get hit. I don't really understand it, but if somebody does, try to convince me down below. Um, I, I don't really care, because I never really used Digusto Emerald that much. Um, he's, he's more just like a backup plan if, you know, I end up using all my resources. But the decks that I use at this point either um, game you before I need to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! has moved up to this point where a lot of decks can just game pretty easily. And grind games aren't really something that you go into too much. Um, so it must have been for some type of combo or something like that. I guess it's because of Firewall, like the Firewall and Grand Soil Loop. Um, since you could just keep recycling Emerald, keep going into it, keep drawing cards. So um, I guess that would be my guess as to why Emerald is banned. And the Zoo Exceeds, no explanation needed. The two good reasons, I mean, the two reasons why Zodiac were good are right in this band section right here. Going on to Limited, we got Ignis Heat, Miscellaneous Source, Rat Pierre, True King's Return, Dark Hole, Gateway. Finally, I need to do a praise dance because Gateway, <laughs> Gateway finally come back in the TCG and uh, interrupted Kaiju's slumber. So Ignis Heat, um, he's just like Dynamite, except he's for spell cards. I don't know why he was need like they need to limit him. Apparently, um, I guess they just don't want true uh, true Dracos or true Kings to be playable like at all. So put him down to one. Miscellaneous Source, um, 
It's understandable why he's limited, but without Denglong, I don't really see him as too much of a problem. I guess it's because they don't want dinosaurs doing too much, and since they just got rid of the Earth True King, they don't want dinosaurs abusing the Fire True King as much as they did the Earth one. Obviously, they still have the option you see diagram nowhere on this limited or band side, so you know that. Um, well, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows that it's staying at three, so diagram. Um, won't be too much of a problem. I mean, Diagram won't have a searcher that will um, synergize as easily as uh, the Earth True King did. So they just bring down Miscellanosaurus down just to make sure that that happens more often. You're going to have to use more resources to make um, boards not even nearly as big as you could before. Um, Rat Pierre, it's understandable. We don't want zoos looping. Um, and, you know, it's like being able to just one monster exceed to just summons out another monster from the deck. It's a bit unfair. Every Everybody understands that. True King's Return. Um, it's, I mean, at this point, I don't really see a need to limit it, but it makes sense. Dark Hole, they're bringing board wipes down. Um, I, I don't think it should have even gotten it too. I guess we were just in a format where a lot of people didn't care. Like, we were in a format where board wipes were pretty bad, so Konami just uh, tested the waters, put their toe in the water for a bit. We had Dark Hole for like at least two or three um, banlists, so it's a. Uh, it's, it's understandable, but I don't think it should have gotten to two in the first place. I, I was uh, like, I was like a little paranoid that it might go up to three just because. Um, you know, like we're getting into more of a format world now where there isn't as many decks that make uh, big boards, um, you know, or not that I think make big boards. Um, so it was like, it, it was something controversial because I, I feel like the, like, maybe not this format, but like after Circuit Break comes out or, you know, Spirit Warriors, that's when it'll change things. So Gateway finally coming back. Um, at this point, we can kind of expect it to move up again when the six Samurai support comes out. It just might, it just might not. We don't know yet. Um, Konami, we can tell that the, that the way that they handled this list and previous list before, that they're gonna market this to sell more sets. So just like how they um, bring Pendulum Call and Wizmai back up to three to sell Pendulum Evolution, I feel like they're gonna do that with Gateway and uh, Spirit Warriors with the new Six Samurais. Which won't be as good because True Draco's just got a hard hit, but Diagram will still be around. So the Fuma combos will still be legit. And lastly, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. It's a dark hole that summons out Kaijus and then searches Kaijus the next turn. This is no non-debatable, this needed to get limited. Semi Limited, BLS, Luster, Mathematician, Rio, TG Hyper Librarian, Brain Control, Burial, and El Shadal Fusion. Um, nothing here I really care about. Uh, Burial, it's nice to see it finally come up just because Burial has been limited for a long time. So um, I think it's nice that they're finally uh, giving uh, some more decks a little more power. Uh, I mean, a lot of people just play Omega these days, but, you know, just having a small card that can just pretty much do the same thing, you know, there's no need to make a big synchro to recycle your banished cards, so it works pretty nice. And BLS, at this point in the game, I think it's pretty crazy, but we can use the Chaos Emperor Dragon way better than we can use the second BLS. Um, I guess this is promoting the BLS archetype, um, regardless of how bad it is, um, just having to, an extra BLS monster wouldn't be too bad. But Chaos Emperor Dragon needs that errata, one, because we never got that errata in the TCG, and two, needs to come back, because I don't think it's fair that BLS is getting all this attention, but Chaos Emperor Dragon has to be stuck in the TCG, because in the OCG it's fine. It's that one, it has an errata, everybody... Nobody uses it. It's just there, okay? It's there for, you know, the people, the old timers who still want to use it or the new kids who want to test it out. You know what I'm saying? 
brain control, brain control is not needed. Mathematician, I don't know why that was still limited, honestly. Brio, it got an errata, so it's nowhere near as strong. And luster, pendulums, I don't know how they're gonna do, but um, we'll just, only time will tell. Don't believe the hype if you think that I shrivel up and die! I will let you down, down. If I let them make it sound, sound. I will let you down. So the Bree Dragon, Honest, the Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit, both at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Summoner Monk to three, it sounds, sounds juicy. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest, it, we already knew it was going to happen. Uh, now you can pull out all those Witch of the Black Forest you pulled from Bowser of Legends, uh, Light's Revenge, if you bought boxes of that. And you just had some extra Witches of the Black Forest, you could put them in your binder. They're worthless, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to want them somewhere. Uh, they, because, you know, they work well with Link Monsters. Charge to three, Light's Orange just got its best searcher back up to full power, so especially with this Minerva reprint and you know just light swords as a deck in general although grass did that get hit the deck is we can call it almost full power at this point dragon ravine um destrudo is coming out in circuit break so we're gonna see how that goes next month but until then it's not gonna be that useful unless you're playing like dragoonity you know what i'm saying Wavering Eyes back up to three. This is definitely the real sauce of the unlimited side just because um, Pendulum Magicians just got a, another searcher that simultaneously activates both of their um, scales at the same time because every because the magicians that were released in Pendulum Evolution, every one of them has an effect that activates when it's destroyed while on the field. So Wavering Eyes is going to destroy them. They go to the extra deck, their effects activate. You can get two at one. And if you pop two, then um, you get, you know, uh, Wavering Eyes lets you search a pendulum while also getting the two effects of the pendulums that were destroyed. And, you know, you can chain this to stuff like Tornado Dragon or Twin Twisters, you know, stuff that, you know, if your opponent is trying to get rid of it, you can get rid of it yourself, get more plus off of it, and, you know, benefit even more. So, yeah, um, Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit. We get Dino Rabbit and we get X Sabers at full power, um, but with Link format around, I don't know how much of that'll matter. Only time will tell. Again, X Sabers might do something just because uh, Rescue Cat is a pretty good engine, but they're still pretty slow as a deck. But I feel like with all these cards around, Gofu still being at three, Diagram, well, Diagram wouldn't matter for, um, for X Sabers for. Dino Rabbit diagram would matter, but for X Sabers, I, I, I just think it's, you know, you guys should get to play your deck again. That's, you, you should feel happy. You should feel like how glad it would be players felt when Best DR was put up to three. Like, yay, my deck is power creeped. I can play it at full power though. <laughs> um, honest, not a big deal. Debris Dragon, um, the biggest deal I see this in is like maybe FA in the future. Not right now, because FA, I don't think FA are gonna do anything anytime soon unless this circuit break support is like from another planet good, um, like out of this world. That's how good the support will have to be for Debris Dragon to actually get something done. But if that's not the case, um, you still just get a third Debris Dragon in FAs. So, I mean, I, I don't even, think that was the reason why they put up the three but you know it, it's it just helps market fa's better <sighs> and rescue rabbit will just see how dino rabbit goes from this point forward we don't know as i said earlier you know we don't know how dino oh i don't know how i'm gonna play dinosaurs or if i'm gonna play dinosaurs from this point forward so we'll just have to see and um lastly The honorable mentions, the two big ones that everybody was looking for but did not get touched at all. Masterpiece and Diagram. Diagram I already mentioned. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows at this point. And Masterpiece, I guess Konami still wants to keep True Draco's marketable as a deck. I'm saying marketable as if they're making new support for it, which they're not. But um, Masterpiece being around and Diagram still being around. 
just shows that uh, Konami just still wants the deck to be playable, just not to a point where it's broken, because Masterpiece by itself, although it is pretty saucy, most True Draco players usually sat on a Dynamite Knight, which is why I feel it was so um, big that Dynamite Knight got banned. And Ignis Heat is nowhere near as strong, um, because the spell cards obviously can't let you tribute something during your opponent's turn. The trap cards can. And after they let you tribute something, they let you destroy cards your opponent controls, you know. The spell cards would too, but, you know, they're not limited. Well, wait, was Heritage limited? No, Heritage wasn't limited. Yeah, so I, I was thinking of the, of the OCG. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much all I got to say about this list. This list was, it, it's kind of weird for me because it's causing like a Yu-Gi-Oh! career crisis for me just because you know like i got to figure out a new deck um six samurais i would try them out but i already know that they're nowhere near as strong as these other decks these days but um just because uh you know the competition did just go down just because zodiacs they just get eliminated from the game so you know six samurais might have a chance i don't think they will but they just might and uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I got to say for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Nisho here. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Look at the fun, 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 fun. Get on the dance. 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 Get on the dance.